have worked so hard, and Mr. Hobby is so proud of them. They all deserve a nice black flower her. Whilst at home for the week, please find time to read as much as poss possible with their family. Children benefit in particular from taking about talking about all the books they have read, making predictions, commenting on characters and plots, retelling and summarising um, events and expressing likes and dislikes. The more you can find time to share, to share books and discuss reading, the better an impact you'll have on your child's comprehension levels. On a separate note, on a separate note, across the school there have been some nasty bugs. There have been some nasty bugs this last term, and our overall attendance has slumped a little bit. Please make sure every effort to get your child to school, even a bit of a tummy ache, does not necessarily mean that they can't come to school. We will look after them and contact you if they remain unwell. Most children who come to school feeling a little unwell generally feel much better once they are here in class with their friends. We hope you all have a good break and look forward to seeing you all back well on Monday 23rd February. Straight after half term, we will be hosting another round of our uh, open afternoons. This will give all our parents and carers the opportunity to visit their child's class to celebrate and share the learning uh, children that have been doing in this in class. We hope you will to come. Uh, you will be able to come along. Bye. Parents' consultation evening will be held on Tuesday the 3rd and Wednesday the 4th of March. Parents and carers can sign up for their consultation times by coming to the studio. Entrance at the side of the hall in the main play playground from 8.45 8 to 9 a.m. every morning after half term and after 3 p.m. as well as during the, uh, the open afternoons. If you are unable to come and sign up, please get in touch with the school office. During these meetings, our school chef will be preparing a lot of amazing food to sample parents and see and taste the quality of our school meals. We are very excited to announce that we are preparing to open up our library up to parents. We already have a small collection of both fiction and non-fiction for grown-ups, including novels, recipe books and some historical books. We are hoping to open this up for Easter and to create parent accounts so those two who can wish to come and select books with their children and take them out to the loan. Reading with your children is such a powerful way to develop their own confidence and ability. If you have any books that you think might be suitable, cookbooks, self-help books, novel books, factual books, travel guides, etc. that you no longer acquire and are in a responsibly good condition, we will receive any we will gladly receive any donations. Please bring them to the front office. Use our school radio more and more. Not only do we have our regular Fridays Radio Assembly, which you can tune in at 2.30 p.m. each week, but we are gradually introducing more shows and opportunities for children to record jingles, stories, interviews, and etc. Earlier this week, Class 2A have, have presented the school's very first Class Assembly radio assembly live on air and it was hugely successful the children love speaking on the radio radio and it's brilliant for developing their speaking and listening if you can please try and join us at 2 30 p.m each friday and um, each friday Day and look out for uh, look out for announcements for uh, for other special broadcasts. If you don't miss if you miss the live uh, live radio, you can still catch it on the on on the uh, on the um, school websites anytime because it will be in a repeating loop. Go to our school website and click for radio radio link on the homepage. We are in the process of organising our small kitchen near the studio in the school. Our hope is that very soon we'll be able to run parent and children cooking classes where mums and dads and children can learn to cook simple, healthy and inexpensive meals together. 
Several staffs have already offered to share some of their secret recipes. If there are any budding Jamies or Nigellas among the parents who might be in interested in running the odd cookery class, please let us know. If you have a child who turns three years old before 31st August, and don't, don't forget to put their name down to, the, to join our nursery, please visit our school office for an application form. Thanks to our PTA, last week members of our PTA held another successful film night. Many of you came along and really enjoyed our good film night out whilst raising funds for the school. Thank you so much to the parents who organised the event and thank you to all who came along and supported us. We are delighted last week to take a delivery of our new stage lighting system that was funded by our PTA money. Our children will look even more professional when we put our next round of show for the parents. Mm -hmm.